If Harold drops, does he lose his elo? Yes. El Matador is our opponent. Bulgarians, Hindustan is. You support Palace? No, no. Um. But yeah, I won't be going. I won't be live too much longer today. Uh, for now, because I have the show match this evening as well. So I'll probably do just do another hour or so and then go off until the show match. My arms too lush. Maybe, maybe. Since done it stronger soon, Arabia. Mm, I would say no, but they're one of the, one of the stronger sieves. Yeah, we have a Nations Cup show match at 19:30 GMT, Norway against France, where we're playing all five games, no matter. So there will be five games, no matter what. Team, yeah. Miss Kid, Miss Kid, yeah. What to do with Gurjar against Hindustan in hideout? I outboom him with the kid with his camels. You can also make camels. We can make camels and chakram throwers. Your camels have extra armor, so you shouldn't be afraid to go camels against him. Your camels are also cheaper on food. So use your camels to have a, as a meat shield. Shotgun throwers. It's not an easy matchup, but it's possible. Someone is making pikes against Hindustani camels. Should we make crossbow or imp in tank and uh, There is no right answer there. It always depends on how the game is playing out. If you can get to imp without taking significant damage because he has pikes, then by all means go imp, right? But if you need the crossbow to defend the cast dash push, for example, then you probably want to make crossbow instead of trying to greed your way to imp. Not gonna be an answer that is like serves all purpose kind of thing. Yeah, Gujarat don't have pikes. When you, with Gujarat, you should make uh, your own camels, I think. Doubt Bulgarian. Uh, doubt is Serbian. Are Japanese in a good spot right now, or do you think they need a small buff? I think they're in a good spot. They're very good on hybrid maps, and they're capable on non-hybrid maps as well. I think they're in a great spot. They can win any sieve. Yeah, Japanese do not need a buff. For sure. Come on, five wood. You like current Aramba? I think they're really strong. More so in team games. 
anyone who won. They're really good. Oh, the improved Incas seem to be the worst, as I said. I'll get them a different team bonus. Or their team bonus is shit. That's the first thing I would do. So far, I think we have avoided him seeing that we actually have built him an arm. Could be wrong. I don't think he spotted them at all. This is negative for me. He has extra bonus damage against Palisades. It's gonna take forever to clean up or to repair. I have to repair this forever, I mean. He deserved it. Play with fire and he got burned. Gotta be careful, there's an easy trap for him potentially here. I say easy. There's trap potential for him. He should never engage there. Does Nets bonus start at light cavalry? No, no. Scouts have bonus damage as well. What? He got out? Good. I actually kind of messed up there. Alright, we just need a blacksmith. Get fletching, and then we can potentially maybe even tech switch to, to um, stable even. Is he really engaging? I don't have fletching, so it kind of makes sense. Why is he not engaging now, though? The fact that he's not engaging now makes no sense. What? You engaged me up the hill when I had a spear? Or you engaged me on the hill when I had a spear, but now I don't? Now I have fletchings. Now he can't really engage anymore. That was a bit odd. Yeah, 
That is fine. I was wondering what I want to play here. I wish prevail. Oh, stay. Sure. Maybe sent everything back now. I'm probably gonna continue infantry, honestly. Why not? He's playing only stable units right now. We can play man at arms spike. Why not? He has a lot of scouts though, so we are a bit in danger. Take some serious damage. The moment. Three long swords, let's go. That's the, that's the thought. Just our bloodlines. Oh, he actually went there. Oh, I stopped the quick wall. I didn't do the quick wall because I thought he actually didn't commit. And then he did commit. Oh boy. Bam bam. Mm. He might be going cow watchers. Would also make sense for him. Let's go. Maybe he's going cow arches. That would make sense from his position. I would like to turn this into uh, a trade post push somehow. 
I reckon we might need a few more wheels on. Stone for that. Double kill. Oh, not the villagers. Interesting. Chris Dealer is horrible print, man. I mean, he probably has a village link because he did snipe quite a few villas with his scouts. But I still would prefer my position by far. Because I'm gonna Kripos rush as well now. Do I do, uh, yeah, we have uh, arson as well. Probably need more bills than that guy. Form a successful cripples rush. Is he counter attacking? I'm a bit scared about that. to dive under TC's. He doesn't have flexion even. I feel like I'm ready to dive under TC's. I think we're gonna have a GG very soon. GG? I think his scout micro is pretty good though. Like the way he used his scouts was pretty nice, but I don't think you can justify just playing full scout into full camel. Well, Garen Scrapple's drop strategy is a bit annoying, yeah. But combine it with men at arms and long swords and it becomes really cool. Very nice. Yeah, he had a villager high, but we knew that. 